Welcome to Lesson Six on Trig Identities. In Lessons Four and Five, we learned the identities for sine and cosine of a sum. Two useful double angle identities follow from those. Here they are. By the way, Greek letters are often used to denote angles in calculus. Let's derive the sine of two theta. Because two thetas is the same as theta plus theta, the identity for sine of a sum can be used to get our result. Sine of a sum is the sine cosine plus the cosine sine, right? So we get sine of two theta is sine of theta plus theta. That equals to sine theta, cosine theta, plus cosine theta, sine theta. Look at those two terms; they're the same, right? And that's why we have two times sine theta, cosine theta. Next, let's derive cosine two theta is cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Cosine of a sum is the cosine cosine minus the sine sine. So for cosine two theta, we have cosine theta plus theta is cosine theta cosine theta minus sine theta sine theta, and here's our result: cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Easy, right? Now, if you know our famous trig identity well, sine squared plus cosine squared is one. You can see why cosine two theta can be expressed in two other ways using just sines and cosines. So let's do that. I'll let you pause this panel and work out each side by yourself. As a result, the double angle identity for cosine has three formats. We can either use cosine squared minus sine squared, or two cosine squared minus a one, or one minus two sine squared. Because we use these often, it's best to just memorize them. Have fun. See you next time.